I live in up there in Flat Mesa. Before moving the mine and the coal mine on no side. The nice green on the mountain, somewhere like bamboo and the wild rose and the, in the canyons, you know. It's really pretty. And um, now it's dry. Because they, they dig it up, the water. Back in the 1930s, the, there was a policy called the Animal Livestock Reduction Program, where they just came through and slaughtered, massacred every living creature, horse, sheep, cow, and they said that the land was overgrazing. A lot of the realities was that our people were basically self-sufficient. The one place, a lot of bamboo, which is where we used to live, just right on top of the north, uh, big mountain. I can show you how I was, and uh, but uh, and then with there, there's nothing there. And try. This is something that our elders and people have known for generations upon generations: how to take care of ourselves, how to pray for water. Water is something that's sacred. It's something not to be taken for granted. In our traditional history, going back in time, time immemorial, the last world was destroyed because of a great mistake that uh, the coyote had made. He had stolen the, the baby of the water and taken that and because of that the floods came, the water came from all sides and we had to escape through a bamboo or reed that was planted and emerged here into this world. So we know that water is something that is very sacred and significant. We never take it for granted. Always pray to it, you acknowledge it, you give something in return for what it gives us. Our life, we belong to the earth. What they say in the beginning, all over the world, we are brother and sister. In the beginning, long time. So when you communicate with that horse, you know, you're using an ability that I don't know uh, how, how to explain it, but that's something that our, our elders recognize. There's a strength, and that, that strength that comes from within, you know, it's not always about being hard or, you know, it's just about being secure with who you're, you are, knowing your identity. And the horse, they, they respect that, they understand. And when you form a, a bond with a wild horse that you know, has never had a person up on their back, and you ride that horse for the first time, and you come to a place of understanding, is one of the most beautiful experiences. And people that have never ridden, they hop on the back of a horse, they feel the power and the strength. You know, it's very humbling. And they, they understand that, wow, you know, as a human, as a person, you know, who I am, you know, it, it, you realize how small we are in this universe. Look at the big one across the sea. I'm sure that you'll agree.